So a little while back, uh, this fellow, Philip Johnson, came up with this great idea about um, different combinations of instruments and how they sound good together. What makes instruments, certain instruments sound really good together, other instruments may be too harsh or not be placed well in a certain combination. And um, I thought, what a great idea that is. And uh, he called it orchestral recipes and he's got this website orchestralrecipes.com you can go check it out it's a great uh, site it's got a lot of uh, free demo videos on YouTube and uh, he encourages people to take on that idea of having different uh, instrument combinations and uh, how when they're played with different notes um, it's more important to have or more interesting to have a recipe of uh, certain instruments working together and um, you know you can change the notes but the instrument group stays the same now there's really really interesting idea so today we're gonna look at that a little bit so what I've got queued up here is some um, MIDI notes to play different instruments together. So we're gonna start off really simply. So if I mute some of these tracks, and I got them named kind of generically, but we'll look at every instrument um, separately. So first for the bass, if we play some notes with, um, let's see, get the right one here. With the bass, right now I've got everything muted but a cello playing staccato notes, right? <laughs> And if we play some musical ideas with that, we kind of get to hear the instrument and the range it plays in and, um, you know, how it, how it can be useful in the lower registers. Now, obviously we need to add to that, and uh, right now it's playing in the register. If you look at the keys down here, you can see the range it's playing in. So if you look down here, it's playing at kind of the upper register of the cello. We can change that and we can um, take it lower and play at a lower register. And we get a deeper we get to experience the deeper tones of that instrument. So we can start there. And then if we add um, a little bit of flute on top, playing some shorter notes. So if we go to shorts number two, we have a flute playing staccato notes in the upper register, so we'll add that. Now we can see how they're balancing out. You got the very low registers of the full body cello with the high crispy kind of tones of the uh, flute. And to my ears, that's a really nice um, dynamic range of tones there. You can see how well they work together. Or you can hear it. Beautiful, okay. So we have a nice little recipe, so to speak, going on here with two instruments really working well together, giving us a lot of dynamic range. Now, if we add some sustains in the mid ground, so we're gonna pull up a viola sustain. 
So if we bring that into the mixture, and uh, I'm going to unmute that. Let's see how that sounds together. That's a bit strong. Let's uh, go to the mixer and turn that down a little bit. That just adds a little bit of sustain in the mid-ground. So that's kind of, you know, um, working with the flute in the higher registers right now. So it's adding some sustain to those higher notes with the flute. So it definitely is adding to our recipe, giving us some notes in the mid-ground here and kind of supporting the high notes of the flute. Now we need a little bit more interest in the, adding some more notes in there. So let's go with some more short notes, but this time it's going to be high staccatos with a violin playing a staccato notes. In the higher registers to give us some real kind of interesting musical flourishes in those higher registers. But you notice that we can't really hear the flute anymore. So it's kind of, uh, in fact, if we turn the flute off, you probably won't even miss it with these new high staccato notes. But if you listen carefully, it is missing something now. So if I play that, little musical section and add the flutes. And if I turn up those flutes, go to the mixer, make it more apparent, pan it a little bit. It's really supporting and adding to those high shorts. When I take it out, you immediately miss the fullness in those highs. Okay, so our flutes can stay. They have a, they're really adding to the fullness of those high notes. So you can see with just four instruments here, the rest are muted. So we can add instruments as they find their places in our little musical ideas. So starting with just four instruments um, in this, this musical idea, using these instruments, we already have a nice... And that's with just four ingredients, so to speak. Now, if we add some ingredients to this recipe, it's going to start getting thicker and richer and more full-bodied. So let's start with the high staccatos and uh, 
we have the uh, violins here and if we just add another violin or you it'd make more of a difference if we added the viola and see how that adds to the recipe you can't really hear it too much just a more fullness there if we add another violin to staccato and if we take the uh, viola inch it up a little bit on the mixer so now we have a fuller and richer uh, staccato violin section here so we've added two more violins staccatos to our uh, shorts in the high end now if we add the violins to the sustains right now we just have the viola sustains on if we add a marcado violin two and one we're going to get a quicker attack to those sustains so it's going to be a uh, more bitey sustain so to speak so the sustains are going to catch a little bit more <laughs> So now the sustains are really coming through stronger with a faster attack. So that really helped the the uh, those mid-string sustains They're a lot stronger. All right, so that's good for the sustains. They're a lot thicker and richer now. But our low end is um, really kind of lacking a little bit because the high end has been strengthened. So let's add a double bass staccato to our cello staccato to give a, a deeper full bodied bass sound. So we turn that on. So now our recipe is more balanced. Uh, the ingredients are a little more balanced. So the low end, in fact, we might even go with the mixer and um, let's see what we got here. We could even add some brass in there, add a little bit of brass or some cello sustain, some contra bassoon. If we add that in there, let's see what we get to get that. And we're going to bring up the double bass a little bit. Now let's see what we got. That's a little bit too heavy in the bass. So the contra bassoon adds a little grittiness to the low end, so but that's kind of distorts or kind of breaks up the low end and takes the smoothness away. So every ingredient brings something to the table. And um, just like you add salt and pepper in different, you know, uh, portions, same thing here to my ears. And it's all about, you know, in the case of me making music for the enjoyment, it's what my ears enjoy. So my ears are saying a little bit less of this ingredient, but we want to keep some of what it's bringing, some of that grit. And I think the bass is a little bit too boomy, so we are going to bring that down again. And we're going to also maybe bring in... Uh, some cello sustain and we might pan that a little bit and uh, we haven't been panning things too much but uh, we definitely can pan some things if we're going to bring them in we can for later instruments when we bring them in let's take these sustains 
and just pan it a little bit. Get this a little bit wider in our panning. But just quickly, you know, doing a little bit of mixing. And so we have our low end working really good. <laughs> bit too much of the uh, sustains in there. I'm going to back that off a little bit. Let's see. The harshness of the Mikado sustains, we're going to bring that down. It's a little bit too harsh, but we'll bring the sustain, the smoother sustain of the viola in there. <laughs> So the balance to me is starting to get better and um, another thing we could bring in is some of the shorts so the pizzicatos uh, right now we just have a high pizzicato um, competing with the flute so we have the flute staccato but let's add a cello pizzicato to add a little bit of pluck in the lower end using those same notes can bring it in a little bit at a time. So if we overemphasize it, we can hear it more and then we can readjust it. So you can definitely hear that pluckiness of the cello. So we don't want it to compete with the higher pizzicatos, but let's bring that in and let's bring in a little bit of uh, violin pizzicato and we can turn that down just to support our flute staccato. <laughs> So that's a nice little balance going there. And just for the first uh, kind of look at these instruments, we started with four ingredients and added to that idea in each range. So we started with some high uh, short notes with some, uh, well, we started basically with the, the bass and just added sustains and then we got into the high notes. But um, you can see how every ingredient added and brought something to the full meal deal that we ended up with. So, so now that we have all these ingredients that we like the balance of and the sound of, we could change um, the notes that they are playing dramatically, but we will still retain the basic um, flavors of these instruments working together. It's all about the balance of these different ingredients. So taking or going with Philip Johnson's idea about uh, orchestral uh, recipes from my own point of view and how I like to work, um, yeah, I really like that idea of taking combinations of instruments to see how they will play certain notes. So this is kind of a general look at the basic uh, ingredients of an orchestra, violins, um, cellos, and a little flute, and things like that. But one could easily get into more uh, experimental um, uh, instruments, you know. And uh, I think I'll be doing more of these in the future, so this might be the first of a series of different combinations of instruments working together, playing certain notes and uh, how they sound. So look for those in the future. I think it's a great idea. 
hope you enjoyed this little video. Have a great day or evening wherever you're at.